Roll call. Mayor Jones. Ms. Huffman. Present. Mr. Hawkins. Mr. Dakin. Here. Mr. Dagan. Here. Mr. McGee. Here. Mr. Ford. Here. Mr. Carruthers. Here. Next on the agenda is to uh, approve the agenda. Can I get a motion to do that? So so move. Move. Second. I'll second that. Okay. Item number five is the consideration of resolution 67-2015. The approval of the police chief appointment. Can I get a motion for that? So moved. Second. Any discussion? They can just say the name. Probably need to take the nomination. The, uh, so for item number five, you want to take a nomination for. Police Chief. Do I need to read it in? Yeah. All right. Resolution 67-2015, resolution approving police chief appointment for the city of Millington, Tennessee. Whereas section 502A of the charter of the city of Millington provides that qualifications of all applicants for operating department heads shall be reviewed by the city manager and operating department head shall be confirmed only by a simple majority vote of the board subject to the approval of the board of aldermen and whereas the board of mayor and aldermen find it necessary to fill the position of police chief and whereas the city manager is recommending the board of mayor and aldermen to confirm Arthur R. Hewn as police chief and whereas the board of mayor and aldermen desires to confirm and approve Arthur R. Hewn as police chief now, for, now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Mayor and Alderman of the City of Millington, Tennessee, that Arthur R. Hume be, and hereby is, confirmed to serve as the Police Chief of the City of Millington in accordance with Section 502 of the City Charter of the City of Millington. This resolution is approved as of the third day of September, 2015. Mr. 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 Mayor and members of the board, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce to you Art Horn. Art came, came to me by reference and uh, due to unfortunate situation we faced here in the city, it's uh, something we need to put immediate attention to and uh, his availability, his background and experience and willingness to come out and help us through a very difficult situation is uh, good for the city, I think. And it's my recommendation after meeting with him and talking to him about the conditions that he would face and what the city uh, needs to address, uh, that he would step in as our police chief. I uh, know today that all of you individually have had an opportunity to meet with, uh, with uh, Art, and uh, I don't know what your position will be tonight, but it would be my recommendation that any question you may have further, he would answer for you, and at the end of that, it would be my recommendation that we uh, uh, place him in as a military police chief. Mr. Hughes, uh, I, I spoke to you. I spoke to you at great length this afternoon about uh, stealing confidence and trustworthiness back into the Millington Police Department so that our citizens have confidence in their police office officers. Most of them do. We've got some great police officers in this city. Uh, what can you do uh, within like your first 90 days to start turning this around and get, get that confidence built back up? Uh, I think the, the officers are going to need some and notice that there's going to be some stability. Uh, they have been through the wire, the ringer, with the number of chiefs in the last few years, uh, and, and the instability has got to be really, really dragging on them. And that causes possible morale issues. So uh, it's still, and it all 
Officer Boyd, that, that I'm here to be here for them. Uh, I'm not going to be here uh, just today and gone tomorrow. Uh, we'll set a vision and, and goal for the agency and uh, work with that and, and head forward. Can you, uh, assuming you are appointed, monthly give us status reports on where you stand with the police officers and, and instilling confidence and, and improving uh, accountability on the head of the Can you give us a monthly report on that? Okay. okay I, I wish you would have those folks. Thank you. And for the benefit of all the citizens who are here, could you share a little bit about your background and your experience that you would be bringing to Millington if you were appointed tonight? Sure. Uh, I, I spent a little over 27 years in the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, and uh, during that time I worked in, in every one of the uh, enforcement divisions uh, of the agency, and uh, on promotion served as supervisor uh, in the technical division, narcotics, uh, at one point uh, as commander of the Metro DUI squad. Uh, after retiring from the Sheriff's Office, I took a job in the Alaska, Tennessee Police Department that was there for four years. A uh, small agency, about 26 officers. Uh, wonderful experience there. Uh, made some changes, uh, updated them with some technology. They were very apt at, at the depth and progressive as far as training went. So from there, uh, I went to Olive Branch, Mississippi. Uh, spent six years there. Uh, took that agency uh, from that was very unstructured to the first uh, accredited agency in North Tennessee, I mean North Mississippi, excuse me. Uh, and uh, from there, uh, I left after my previous wife uh, succumbed to cancer and took a job uh, in Darsburg, Tennessee, and was there for five years. Okay. Thank you. I also interviewed with you, and uh, certainly the things that we talked about spoke to uh, your plans and I know you can't lay them all out now but it's important that the people know that you have an idea a format that you'll follow to establish the type of relationship with the citizens and with your your department that would improve uh, both the morale inside of the police department and the confidence of the people in that, in that police department. And I think it'd be important if you would, at your earliest opportunity, uh, provide some sort of release that uh, we would be briefed on that. Kind of like what, what Alderman Carruthers was asking about, your your plans for your first 100 days or so. Uh, yes, okay. we'll Appreciate that. that. Sure. Only, only thing that and uh, I told you today, uh, and I appreciate you uh, being with me today, uh, my concern is not with you individually, and it's not with Mr. Ed or your selection. My concern is the speed of how we're doing this, and we haven't even opened up any kind of process to see if there's any other candidates out there that might be the best fit for Millington. And like I say, I, I don't have, to be honest with you, I don't have a strong opinion either way. Uh, I want to support my city manager just as much as anybody. And, but this vote for me is not as much about you. Is, it's about opening it up the door to giving everybody an opportunity to see who the best candidate is that can lead and run this department for our city. And that's how I feel. <coughs> Anybody else? <coughs> Call the question. Call the question. Call the question. Ms. Huffman? Aye. Mr. Dakin? Aye. Mr. Dagan? Mr. McGee? Aye. Mr. Ford? No. Mr. Carruthers? Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate the opportunity uh, that's been given, and uh, I look forward to the challenges that this position uh, provides. Thank you. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. I move that we adjourn. Second. Thank you.